This video details how to correctly planarize and land an RF or microwave probe on a sample landing pad. The user should perform the planarization procedure anytime the probe has been serviced or replaced, and the landing procedure detailed can be used anytime a microwave probe is landed. A typical RF or microwave probe has three GSG or ground signal ground contact points that are landed on a sample where the signal transfers directly to the probe tip via the center conductor of a coaxial cable with no mechanism for blocking heat flowing with the electrical signal to the sample. This process will be performed on a Lakeshore GSG microwave probe. Lakeshore microwave probes differ from other RF probes in that they have an integrated mount, all copper body, and a pair of copper braids that are attached to the sample stage by a copper braid block to cool the probe. This design provides key thermal cooling of the probe tip and blocks unwanted heat to the sample. And Lakeshore microwave probes are routinely cooled below 10 Kelvin in a CRX 4K probe station. In step one, we will ensure the probe is visible through the viewport on the vacuum chamber and then use the Z-axis micrometer to raise all probes above the sample stage enough to clear the sample landing pad. While visually observing through the vacuum chamber viewport, use the x-axis hand dial and y-axis micrometers to position the probe tip over the sample landing pad. Then we will swing the microscope back over the viewport and adjust the microscope to fill the monitor with the sample image and focus at the height of the sample landing pad. Use the Z-axis micrometer or Z-axis adjustment to lower the probe tip until the tip begins to come into focus at a height that is at least three to four millimeters above the sample. While observing the probe tip through the microscope, use your probe station's probe XY planarization adjustment and visually adjust until the probe tips appear parallel to the XY plane. Check the angle by landing the probe, making contact to a metallic substrate and then raising the probe. Landing pads with gold plating, such as those common on calibration substrates, are ideal for visualizing the marks left by the probe points. Marks made by the probe points on the metallization can be seen by the microscope at high magnification. Repeat this process until the probe points make three uniform marks on the metallization. If the adjustment range of your probe station's probe XY planarization adjustment are inadequate, the probe must be manually rotated in the probe arm inside of the vacuum chamber by loosening the probe arm set screws and manually rotating the probe body. Once the probe has been properly planarized, three uniform marks can be seen on the metallization. Now that the probe has been planarized, the probe can be landed on a substrate. 